Hey besties and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be ranking Red Velvet's styling eras. I excluded Psycho simply because there was only one official stage, so there's no point. I also won't be including any B-side stages since I'm only talking about title tracks and please remember that this is just my opinion and doesn't reflect my views on the members themselves. Now, let's get started with the video. I know what you all are thinking, why is Ricky at the bottom and not Simsale Abim? Well, actually I had a hard time deciding which one should be at the bottom and I think this deserves the last spot. I'll explain the Simsale Abim one when we get there. But let's talk about Rookie's stage outfits. I know the whole theme is childlike, but honestly, most of the outfits kinda sucked. It was always one or two members who had a terrible outfit that just didn't look right or was plain ugly. However, I do like the purple sets they had and that one yellow and blue outfit one they had, but most of them look like they got their clothes from Baby Gap. They still could've kept the childish theme without dressing them like little kids on picture day. I think it would've been better if they made the outfits more whimsical. And it just kinda threw me off how Salgi was the one wearing shorts most of the time while everyone else wore a dress or skirt. Like it just didn't look right with the song in my opinion. But yeah, the styling was not cute at all. Although the styling in Zimze Labim era was kinda atrocious, I also appreciate it. Hear me out, besides Wendy's awful green rug top, I actually like how they were styled here. If they were to just wear colorful tops with a simple skirt or shorts and a simple designed dress, it would've been really boring and just not match, but the insane amount of colors, the clash of different patterns, and experimenting with different pieces of fabric really made this era even more iconic and perfectly went with the song and whole vibe of it. The song is chaotic, loud, in your face, yet extremely fun and that's how the styling was also. My favorite was the shimmery tassel outfits for sure. Objectively the styling did look off a lot, so that's why it's still ranked very low. But I feel like the hit isn't that necessary. Although I absolutely love the song, I didn't like the styling that much. I never really understood the whole gym outfits, like it made sense for those scenes where they were in gym class. But I don't know why they kept it for half of the live stages. I think the collar shirts with the plain tennis skirts were cute and matched the theme in the Inkigayo pastel outfits. But that's pretty much it. Those odd floral like print outfits were definitely the worst out of all. It was just ugly to be honest. I just feel like so much more could have been done to truly match with the concept instead of what they actually had. <laughs> I never really gave much thought into Ice Cream Cake's styling era, but now that I look at it, it's kinda cute. I think the pastel sweatshirt and suit outfits were really cute, but the rest were pretty boring to me. I just don't understand the whole college sweatshirt thing because you all already did that team spirit thing in Happiness era and it just doesn't add with the concept at all. Like girl, why they got on college sweatshirts and sashes when two of the girls barely graduated high school. It was just so random and unserious to me. I really think they should have kept up with the pastel theme and made it more like an ice cream parlor type thing. It just would have been more cute to me. Honestly, I don't have much to say about this styling era because there's not much there. I mean, the outfits make sense with the mood of the song since it's sentimental and more mellow and some of the outfits are really pretty, but majority of them look like they're going to church. Like I said, they look pretty, but I'm just not into most of the dresses on here. The 
styling this era isn't really groundbreaking or anything, but I actually like the concept of styling in it. The asymmetrical cheerleader outfits were pretty creative and matched perfectly with the song and concept since it's basically about happiness. Some of the color schemes I didn't really like, just because of the colors, but I think overall it was alright, not too bad but nothing that really stands out to me. I don't care, this was camp and I really like it. The shirts matching with the pantyhose on one leg was so creative and really matched with the concept. But it did irritate me how Irene's and Joyce didn't match like they could have made Irene wear red pantyhose and Joyce top just a bit lighter. Some of the outfits were becoming a bit bland as it went on where they just wore a hat and a sweater, which I think they could have added some stuff to make look more quirky. I also really wish they wore the doll dresses other than wearing it to award shows. Regardless, I still like the whole concept of the outfits and especially some of the hairstyles like the two twisted braids. I think they could have made more of an effort to make it more creative like having colorful shorts and such, but most of them were still fun and quirky. I know this is basically a remake of a song, but it's still an era so I wanna rank it. There's really not much going on, but I'm just a silly little gay person that likes women in suits. I love the dark red suits, because it just adds on to the sultriness of the song. Again, there's not much going on but I do like the elegance of the outfits. I think for the most part, this styling definitely did its job of really giving off that fun summer vibe. I think the red and white sailor outfits were really cute and so were the red blue themed outfits they had. There weren't any bad outfits really, but I didn't really like that blue tutu that Irene had on just because it didn't match with the color scheme of the other members. I also feel like there were some missed opportunities with the styling. For example the music video had their representative colors and in one stage. Yeri was wearing purple which is her personal color and I know some other members did, but I think it would have been a great idea if they all wore their representative colors or at least have fruits that are the same colors such as Salgi wearing something with an orange, Joy with a kiwi, Yeri with grapes and so on. Even though there were a few stage outfits I didn't really like, most of the outfits had an overall cute and refreshing vibe to it. Go, go, I don't know why, but I just really like the Girl Scout outfits, in a way it really matches with the concept, especially with the colors. I know it's kinda giving picnic table, but I also really like the blue and yellow dresses. Sometimes repetitive outfits can be annoying, but since this is more like uniform outfits, I think it's pretty cute. There's not really any bad outfits, but it's cute and nothing more to me. Before y'all jump me, hear me out. I actually really love the styling in this era. There were some outfits I wasn't crazy about like most of Yeri's outfits because I just feel like they did her a bit dirty, but besides that most of the outfits were so cool to me. The almost dirty glam 80s vibe was unique and surprisingly matched with the concept. You'd think since the era is Halloween themed, they would have spooky outfits on. But these outfits actually make even more sense since the music video has the cheesy 80s horror movie feel to it. I also really appreciate the way they styled Joy this era simply because most of the time they give her many dresses which isn't much of a bad thing since she pulls them off so well. But not only does it seem uncomfortable but just very repetitive. I like the outfit where she had the purple gloves, the flare pants and the glitter top along with the iconic red leopard top kinda iconic to me. I also like the biker hat they gave Sogi too. Besides a couple outfits I don't understand why the styling era got hate because it's so slayful and just overall pretty creative and stylish. If there wasn't for some other eras, 
This would definitely be higher because I love most of the outfits here. Yeah, some of them are a bit plain and nothing special, but some of the other outfits are just too iconic. Like the famous rainbow outfits, but I just wish they didn't give Sunky that blue top. On the other hand, it makes me think that they gave one member a different color outfit on purpose. Like they gave Wendy a plaid outfit in that red stage, Sunky the blue one. However, I also hesitated to rank this styling era higher because it would've been much better if they kept that concept all the way through instead of just a few, because it would've been more creative that way. Besides that, some of my favorite outfits this era was of course the rainbow outfits, the stage where Irene had that glitter dress, and the other stage where they wore red. I think there were some missed opportunities, but overall this was a pretty great styling era. Sometimes, I can't stand denim on denim outfits, but some of these were an exception. The denim outfits were probably my least favorite set of outfits besides that one Joy wore with the blue top. My favorites were definitely the whimsical ones, like the purple and red stages. It really adds on to the witchy vibe and honestly, I wish they had more stages with those type of outfits. However, I also loved the brighter outfits. The pastel stage was one of my other favorites. But I just didn't like the white belt they gave Sunky because it just looked out of place to me. It might not be anything outstanding, but I personally really like this era of styling. I've already loved this styling era since it came out. So of course she had to be in the top 5. I don't care what anyone says, Soggy's pink cowboy outfit was so cute and this is coming from someone who doesn't really like western attire. Most of the outfits in the pink stage were so cute except for Wendy's outfit, it just didn't look good. I also love the denim outfits they had where Irene looked like someone's really pretty older sister from the 70s and Mary had that tube top. I just overall really admire how they stayed true to the vintage 70s theme, especially that one stage where Joy had the green outfit on. It was so fun yet accurate. I kinda wish more groups would use this type of style because I personally find it cute, but it especially fits red velvet with the song and everything. Okay I know y'all are probably confused as to why this styling era is only ranked 3rd and not higher, but I'll explain that in a bit. First, let's talk about how amazing these outfits were, like there was not one look that disappointed me in any way. I don't know what it's called, but the corset dresses were absolutely gorgeous, and I mean every single one. At first, I was a bit confused with the greenish ones because I thought they had my girls out here wearing some camouflage dresses, but I looked at them more and it's literally a painting, like that's kinda genius of the stylists. Besides that stage, my favorite has to be the pink and blue one. Every single outfit was so beautiful and everyone matched perfectly. I think either Yeri's or Sunky's outfit is my favorite there. Now, this may seem ridiculous. But the only reason why this styling era isn't ranked higher is because of the limited amount of stages. I know they had to end promotions sooner than expected, so I understand, but I feel like I can only voice my opinion on the few stages we got to see. I doubt there would've been bad outfits if we got more, but I just wish we could've seen how the entire era would've looked. be a bit biased here, but can you blame me? This was too iconic, like this era was unforgettable actually. The famous Sunky Red Pants were in this era so she automatically gets in the top 3, but I pretty much love every single stage. We're so used to seeing girl crush outfits, so it's kinda rare to see the more cool girl type of outfits, so it just makes me appreciate these outfits even more and I love the fact that each outfit fits each member. I wish they would've had some pink outfits here. But that's literally my only criticism because all of the outfits here are amazing and just so slayful to me.
some of you all may disagree with me, but you know I'm right. This may be because this is very similar to my personal style, but I'm so in love with this styling era. They gave us something different, unique while still being kinda trendy and matching with the song and concept. At first, I didn't know how to feel about those black and candy looking outfits, but I actually like it because it matches with the birthday theme. Also, can we talk about how Sunky was styled during this era? Like, every outfit was so slaveful. I also loved the hats they gave her and adore the little teddy bear chain they gave the members. It's such a cute detail. Besides my personal bias towards this style, it's pretty unique and fits perfectly with the whole era and just adds more fun to the song. Everybody looked so amazing and were given justice with the way they were styled. Overall, regardless of your opinions on the song, the styling ate down. And that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you'd want and have a good day. Bye besties.